welcome you all at mahindraguru.com in our special section of how to crack SBI. Today our topic is inequality. When we talk about inequality, it is an important topic according to you, the aspect of your paper. We have five questions in the paper from this chapter. When we solve inequality, we have two equations with two variables and we have to solve them and find the roots and compare them. While comparing them, we use symbols greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to and equal to. The equation which we have in this question, in these questions are either of linear equations or quadratic equations or miscellaneous yeah, uh, that is mix of all these. Uh, today we will learn how to solve quadratic equations and do it easily in while paper because most of the questions from this chapter we will find from quadratic equations. Let us see any quadratic equation is given to us is in the form of ax squared plus minus bx plus minus c equal to 0. Here we use the sign plus minus both because we don't know in which form we get the equation. Because in equation it could be in plus form or in minus form. When we get any quadratic equations, we know we will have two roots because the power of x is here is 2. So we will get two roots. And then in paper we have two equations, therefore we have four roots. Two roots from one equation and two roots from other equation. Now we consider if the equations are in form of x and y, so we will get four roots, two x1 and x2 and other two are y1 and y2. Now what we have to do, we have to compare the roots with each other. While comparing, we will compare the roots of x with both the roots of y and roots uh, and y both roots with x, but we do not compare x root with the other root of x and y1 root with the other roots of y. That is we will compare x1 with y1, x1 with y2, x2 with y1 and x2 with y2. But we do not compare x1 with x2 and y1 with y2 which usually students compare, do while comparing. Make it clear x root will never compare with each other. Whereas y root will not compare with each other. They will always compare with the other equations root. That is x will be compared with y equations root and y roots will be compared with x. And we will find the relations between them. We will find whether the roots are greater, equal or greater than, equal than or the relationship cannot be determined. How to solve them? In the paper, we will given two equations in quadratic form that is x square minus 7x plus 12, y square plus y minus 20 equal to 0. What we have to do, we have to find the roots and compare them. While comparing them, uh, while solving this equation, we usually do, we have to break uh, the equation and solve it in a lengthy way. Today, we will discuss how to do it in a small and in quite uh, less time that we have taken to do in a long method. The answer will be in two forms. One is in magnitude and other with sign. The magnitude we want, uh, the magnitude for the root we want, we will find them very easily. What, the equation is always in a form of ax square plus minus bx plus minus c equal to z. What we will do, we will multiply the terms a and c. That is here 1 and 12. 1 into 12, 12. We find the product and find uh, break their factors in such a form that on adding or subtracting those factors, we find the value of b. Fine. So here our, our product is 12. We have to find the factors so that we could make 7 from them. Uh, how to do the factors? 4, 3. The terms which on multiplying give 12. But here it is the magnitude which create problem, uh, sorry, sign which create problems because we know the roots will be 4 and 3 but we don't know which sign it have. It will be positive or negative. For that we can use this sign table. You can write it in your paper 
before this uh, before you start doing inequality it will help you a lot see the equation is in the form of minus plus so we will check the equations sign in equation minus plus if the equation uh, the signs in the equation is in minus plus then the root will be plus plus greater than means the bigger root will be positive and the lesser root will be also positive that means here we have plus 4 plus 3 the roots of x so we don't have to solve it in a lengthy way we directly get our roots plus 4 and plus 3 now we will find the roots of y the roots of y we want, uh, will be here we the product will be 20 into 1 20 and the uh, in the middle we have 1 so we have to find the factors of 20 so that we can make 1 from it the factors of 20 will be which can make give us 1 are 5 and 4 on subtracting 4 from 5 we get 1 now it comes about which sign they carry we have the magnitude sign we will find by plus minus in equation the roots are in plus minus therefore the roots will be minus plus the root will be minus plus and see here the greater magnitude sign will be minus so here we have minus 5 plus 4 Simply, we have two roots uh, of, of x, two roots of y. The roots of x are plus 4 and plus 3. The roots of y are minus 5 plus 4. Now, what we have to do? We have to compare them. How will we compare them? Minus 5 plus 4. First, we will compare the value of x1 with y1. And we know here the sign will be x is greater than y. Then we compare x1 with y2 here we know it is they are equal so by comparing two numbers we have x is greater than equal to y still the comparison goes on plus 3 minus 5 again x is greater conditions goes on plus 3 plus 4 now x is less than y whenever we have a condition where greater than and equal uh, less than both comes together while comparing the answer will be cannot be relationship cannot be determined because we don't have any options which have both greater than and less than sign together what sign we have greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to and equal to these are the five signs which we have and there is no sign where we have greater than and less than together. So we can say that here the relationship cannot be determined. In some of the quadratic equation, we can just answer the equations by seeing the sign in the paper. The, in the question, as we see the signs in the equation, we can just answer the that whether it is greater than or less than or it cannot be determined. In some of those cases are discussed here. Let us consider the first case. Here it, we have given two equations. Uh, in one equation the signs are minus and plus and the other equation have sign plus and plus. We don't require to take out the roots. We just look at the sign and answer what will uh, it is greater than y. x is greater than y. See how we will do this. Here are the sign minus and plus. Whenever in equation we have sign minus and plus, we know the roots will be positive and positive. So here are the roots plus x1 and plus x2. Two roots of x plus x1 plus x2 we don't require any magnitude to find. Fine. In the second equation, here we see the roots are, the equation is in plus plus. When the equation is in the form of plus plus, the roots will be in the form of minus minus. That is, both the roots are negative. Minus y1, minus y2. Roots are minus, one, uh, minus y1 and minus y2. Now see, when we compare x1, y1 greater, because value is positive. Here also x2, uh, y2 positive, x2, y1 positive, uh, greater, x1, y2 greater because positive value is always greater than negative value. So we can directly say that x is greater than y.
So whenever we have an equation where the equation is in form of minus plus and plus plus, we can directly say the, that the equation which have minus plus in it, the variable, the variable will always be greater than the other variable. Let us consider the other case. The other case is when both the equation have plus minus in them. See, the equation is x square plus x minus 56, y square plus 2y minus 15. We don't require any magnitude here again. We just compare the sign and can answer the that is relationship cannot be determined. How? See, this equation is in the form of plus minus. Whenever the equation is in form of plus minus, we have the root in minus plus. That is the bigger root will be minus and the lower magnitude value will be plus. So, here we see minus x1 plus x2. In the similar manner, the y also have roots, one positive and the other one is negative. Greater one will be negative and smaller one be, will be positive. As we compare x1 with y2, we know x1 will be less than y2 always. Why? Because this is negative value, it's, this root is positive, negative value is always less than positive value. Now, when we compare x2 with y1, as we compare x2 with y1, we get to know that x2 value will be greater than y1 because x2 is positive here and y1 is negative. So, we have greater than and less than both in the same condition. So, the answer will be relationship cannot be determined as we have discussed earlier because there is no way in the, our options we have both these together. So, the answer will be relationship cannot be determined. Fine. In the next condition, we have both the equation having sign minus minus. If both the equation have sign minus minus, so here we have let us see x square minus x minus 6. Both the equations are minus minus. So the, the roots will be greater one will be positive and the smaller one will be negative. Similarly in the y case, in the equation of y, the greater one equation uh, root will be positive and the smaller one will be negative. Same, the condition goes on here also, that is x1 will be greater than y2 and x2 will be less than y1. Greater than and less than, both together in the options, answer will be relationship cannot be determined. Fine. The next case is when the equation, one of the equation is form of in plus minus plus minus x square plus x minus 56 so here the root will be plus minus that means the greater root will be negative and the smaller root will be positive here 20 y square minus y minus 12 minus minus that is the greater root will be positive and the smaller root will be negative on comparing again we will have x1 will be less than y1, x2 will be greater than y2. As we see x1 and uh, greater than and less than together, the answer will be relationship cannot be determined. Let us see some more cases of such equations where we can see how to solve, you can say in the paper. As we see the equation, answers will be let us see, plus plus minus plus, plus plus means both the roots are negative, minus plus means both the roots are positive. So we can say x will be less than y because x value both are, uh, roots are negative. So we know if both the roots are negative, they are smaller than the positive roots and y have both the roots positive. So answer is x is less than y. Next equation, uh, next question x square plus 
x minus 20 y square plus y minus 12. Here the equation is in the form of plus minus plus minus. Whenever the equation is in the form of plus minus, the roots will be minus plus minus plus and we will have one root greater and one root lesser in conform. So we can say the answer will be relationship cannot be determined. Next example. 38x square minus 3x minus 11 equal to 0. 4y square minus 7y minus 2 equal to 0. Here are also the roots are minus, uh, sorry, minus plus minus plus because the equation is in the form of minus minus and minus minus. When the roots are in the form of minus plus minus uh, minus plus, the answer will be relationship cannot be determined. In the fourth example here the equation is in the form of plus minus 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 here are the, the roots again in the form of minus plus and plus minus and the answer will be cannot be relationship cannot be determined so we can see here in the exam we can save a lot of time by just seeing the sign of the equation and answering them for today that is all hope you like the video for more videos, you can subscribe our YouTube channel as well as for your comments and review, you can go and uh, go at mahindagroot.com. Thank you.